but let's go right. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's gonna be the first video of three series. Uh, because this is our uh, motorcycle weekend, more or less. As you might know, I won a training weekend for mountain training with a motor style uh, during the Dutch Thousand. And this is actually the first day. Um, yesterday we already went to Venlo. We are, uh, this morning we already did about uh, an hour, hour and a half of highway. Um, and yeah, we still have about, I think, half an hour maybe of highway left before we are actually going to, uh, to the national roads and the, uh, the backcountry roads. So far, as you can see, weather has not been the greatest. You, don't, you, can, you, you really <laughs> cannot do much about that. Um, the forecast is that the rest of the weekend should be dry and this afternoon should also be dry. So it's just, uh, just gonna suck it up on the highway. So there, there, are, there are five people following this, uh, this training in the, in the group. I think there's, in total there's three groups with uh, each five or six trainees uh, and one instructor so let's see what we can do on that this weekend and have some fun anything you want to say Luke because Luke is in the same group as me Yay. Uh, not really much to say uh, yeah I like it uh, to, to uh, be on the bike again but so much this year but yeah then we have to enjoy more the time we want. Yeah, and, and he is riding on his working GS. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, I forget myself, but almost. You but old bike quite uh, quite fast if you have a better uh, new bike. <laughs> but but he also doesn't have a choice because he lost his key for the Honda. So. <laughs> few moments later so we're at the uh, we were at the lunch location it was a bit of a late lunch uh, to sort that out later but yeah, it was a bit of a late lunch, it's uh, 3 o'clock now. But yeah, one of the guys had some issues with the bike. And yeah, he's waiting for a roadside assistance, but we already struggled with the bike before he uh, had his final breakdown. It's uh, at least a little bit dry now, so that is nice. Hopefully it doesn't drizzle much, uh, much more than this. We refueled. So we're good for another uh, 300 kilometer. Well, it's only gonna be 80 kilometers to the uh, to the hotel, more or less. And now at least stopped raining. It's uh, sometimes drizzling a little bit. But yeah, we can finally make a stretch the legs of the bike a bit. And uh, hopefully stays dry. It's still pretty grey. We have some really beautiful roads. Unfortunately, all of them are in the rain. Not much you can do about that. Changed my gloves to a dry pair of gloves. I think this, all, this night we're gonna need to dry out all the motorcycle stuff because everything is completely soaked. First bit of sunshine of the day. It needs to be sunny for a bit longer. You need to dry out all the clothes, but it's a start. It's a start. I even see a bit of blue sky.
asfalt zeg, lekker. Zeker. Zo, we chase die, uh, de, de sequence in de groep nou, zo. Nou, I'm riding up front for a, li uh, for a little bit. De uh, instructor is behind me, en de rest of the, se of the sequence within the group is still the same. En we will rotate out, so everybody gets a bit of uh, personal feedback based on their riding. Daar lekker terug. <laughs> 15 minutes later. Just had the uh, first first chat. Uh, I won't say first. I won't say I was the first victim, but does it? Uh, it's not <laughs> not far off in that respect. Uh, but yeah, there were quite some um, some tips for me, at least at, at points of uh, of attention. I was not really sure whether I should overtake the car or the, or not. Uh, well, that was uh, should have done. Sh should have, uh, I should have just done that. That was one point, and that also resulted in me in uh, uh, riding a bit. I won't say careless, but. Uh, there's a say nonchalant, I will put the subtitles down below. So Little that's... Lazy. Uh, what? Lazy. Little lazy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I was riding a bit lazy. One kilometer. Which is also a bit uh, unfocused. And I was, uh, I'm using the, the rear brake too much. So that, those are some things to uh, to work on the coming days. I do recognize, you know, me being a bit lazy or uh, no, on, not on focus, but uh, taking it too easy, not paying if not uh, riding at at the sharpest uh, point. So it's all, uh, all good feedback. Turn right. And in the, the villages, you know, I do take if you look uh, if have a, a, a reasonable position, but when there are cars, I sometimes sacrifice the if my position too much for, uh, for the cars, and then I compromise my my position on the other hand or, or on the other side. So these are uh, things to to work on during the weekend. I cannot say it's. Uh, Feedback that is uh, not hitting home. I think it's spot on. So that's that's good, and I also think that's why these kind of trainings are really good. And at every level, uh, you can still learn a lot. And I would change. So now somebody else is riding up front. Uh, 
En I'm riding at the, at the rear. 